What is up guys, welcome back to Ifish NC. Today, I'm gonna to be going over my top five winter bass baits. Now first of all, you gotta understand why I chose the baits I chose. Now in the winter, the bass are a lot less active than they are in the spring, the summer, and the fall. And the fish, they, they just they slow down, the bass slow down. They don't feed as aggressively, um, they don't feed as often. So you wanna have a bait that's a little bit slower, a little bit more versatile, and uh, a little bit easier of a target for the bass. So. Number one, number one is a thin bodied crankbait, okay? Now a lot of guys in the winter, they stop throwing crankbaits. If you look at the comparison here, this is the standard crankbait and this is the thin bodied crankbait. Um, the thin bodied crankbait, it has a, a tighter wobble. It's a little bit tighter and it's a, it's a little bit more of an easier target for the bass. Now, number two is the jerkbait. Now the jerkbait is great for pretty much any season. It's a year-round lure, but um, I like to throw it in the winter because you can control how fast you work it. Jerk it twice, let it sit, and I recommend in the winter that you let it sit 20 to 30 seconds because um, you're giving the bass a longer time here to think about if, whether or not they want to hit that bait. In the winter, the shad die off. Not all of them, but some of them. And the jerkbait imitates that. Now this isn't the ideal color you would want to throw, but work it slowly, especially in the winter, because it imitates that dying shad, injured shad. That's another great bait for winter bass fishing. Now number three is the jig. Now jigs are great year round, again, but uh, especially in the winter because it's another one of those baits that you can kind of work the speed that you want to. You can work it slowly, you can work it fast. Um, it's great for the winter um, because you can imitate Again, that injured bait fish, that injured a shad. Now this isn't what you'd throw. I have a craw on here, and this is black and blue. I guess you could do it. It's good for flipping docks and stuff. But if you're gonna throw a jig, work it slowly. Give those bass a good amount of time to eat that bait. And the jig is another great option for winter bass fishing. Now number four has gotta be a spinner bait. Spinner bait has gotta be like one of my favorite lures to throw in the winter. Um, it imitates a school of bait fish, which is usually what the bass are going to be feeding on in the winter. Definitely use a spinnerbait. If you haven't tried it in the winter, definitely try it. It's a great lure to throw. Um, catches a lot of fish, especially in the wintertime. Now, number five on my list of top five winter bass lures is got to be the chatterbait. Now, I do not have a chatterbait here with me, but I've caught a lot of fish on it in the winter. It's very similar to the jig in the sense that you're trying to imitate an injured bait fish. Now me personally, I like to I like to work it a little bit different. I like to kind of raise it to the surface, let it drop, just kind of work it slowly, work it like it's an injured bait fish. Like don't be afraid to try something different in the wintertime. Well that is it for my list of top five bass lures to throw in the winter. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Here we go, here we go. It's about time that we set it off.